Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting outside the tiny house today, even though it's kind of cold and it's still rainy. Oh my goodness, is it going to ever stop? Uh, everything water-wise is filled up, so I mean, I don't even need the water. Anyhow, um, rabbits are doing great. They killed that big, huge pile I gave them. Um, in fact, last night I went and got them a few more handfuls just before they went in for the night, so that is working out beautifully. Um, UPS did come, and I'm going to show you the Prezi that I got in just a minute. And, um, what else? What else? Oh, I'll just show you what I had for breakfast first. Another egg frittata. It turned out delicious. Those onions are growing wild out in my yard, and, um, so I snipped up some of those and put them in there, put some taco sauce on them. I did actually make quite a large frittata, and I have shared some with the doggies, but they didn't get any of it that had the onions in it. Oh, and I put some mozzarella, shredded mozzarella cheese in there too, and it turned out delicious. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I already did the ch -ch thing last mm. night, and I used one of the items in there to make my tacos, and they turned out delicious, but I'm going to show you what Mary sent me. Oh, my goodness. This whole box is filled with jars, and I'm going to show you what they are right now. There is beef. I think there's six in all. I used one last night. Look at this. In pint jars, perfect size. Pork chops? Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to make some of this for dinner tonight. There are one, two, three, four of these. And chicken? I'm so glad because I only have one jar of your chicken from the last time, and I've got two more now. All oh, these are just going to be so very, very delicious. Thank you so much. They're going to go into my pantry, and I'm going to use them wisely. They'll last till 2027, so that is really, really amazing. Thank you so much. That is thoughtful. I can't wait till I can start pressure canning my own meat, and I really need, I'm going to have to do that because I have a feeling that I'm going to be having some meat coming up here pretty soon. need to get a pressure canner. They are kind of pricey, but... Um, I'm not going to get one of those big, huge, all-American ones. That's just too much. Um, but we'll see. We'll see down the line. I didn't see this initially, but there's a note, so I'm going to read it. Okay, dear Anne, I shipped you a variety of meats for your pantry. Each jar has been labeled and dated. The pork chops and chicken were processed in their own juices, and you will learn once you start canning that some jars will not fill all the way to the top. The meat will be as soft and delish as the part of the meat covered by juices. Um, some people add water, meat, or veggie stock to fill to the top. I prefer stock as it adds more flavor. And then she lists the items. Uh, there's four unseasoned pork chops with bones. Oh, those are going to be so good. Um, two seasoned chicken thighs and six unseasoned beef. And I already know the beef is delicious because I had them last night in tacos. Storage tip. I leave my rings on the jars very loosely. Some people prefer to move them all together. I tighten them for shipping purposes. I do recommend that you loosen them in the event there should be a fail. A fail means something went wrong and the jar burped open. And once this happens, you need to discard the contents. Good to know. Um, I will definitely loosen those rings. Fortunately, I have never had this happen. So far, so good with me. Uh, safety tips when opening. Inspect the jars top that has not popped yes smell the food for spoilage um, it's all smelled very wonderful once I open the jar and then she shares her testimony my testimony my Heavenly Father has blessed me greatly he tells us that when and if he desires to open his storehouse of treasures blessings we would not be able to contain it his grace abounds and because of these things I want to praise him by blessing you and others I have seen your kindness and towards your neighbors, and I am touched by it. Continue your walk in faith. I pray daily for all of the brethren who are faithful and obedient, because this world has become increasingly ungodly. I ask him to keep them safe from harm and to meet their daily and future needs. The scriptures tells us that in the time of his favor, he will hear us in the day of his salvation. He will help us. Therefore, let us pray one for another faithfully until he returns and then she shares and she says love in christ mary um psalm one blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked 
or stands in the way that sinners take, or sits in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who mediates on this on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. And whatever they do prospers. Hmm. Well, hopefully, hopefully I can follow this. This is a beautiful psalm. Anyhow, I don't know what those chickens are squawking about. All I know is I really, really thank you, Mary, that those canned goods, oh, I know they're going to keep me going for a good long while. So thank you, sister. Well, I got to do something nice for somebody today. I got to take a neighbor to the dump and help offload their trash. Yes! Anyhow, uh, yeah, when I got back, the puppies had destroyed the inside of the tiny house again. Um, for as long as I still have them, I am just going to have to bring them with me. Yeah, they're going to have to come in the truck with me and Papa because I can't leave them. They, they got into a bin that had all my little special notes and cards from people. Um, it had my uh, truck title. It had all kinds of stuff, and they just took it and shredded it. Luckily, the, the car title was still intact. Many of the cards and notes and stuff were, were still intact. But they just scattered it everywhere. And they took a, one of my last two rolls of toilet paper, shredded it everywhere. So, yeah, I can't leave the dogs. I mean, I can't leave them in the yard because they will find a way to get out. I can't leave them in the tiny house because they will tear everything up. So they're just going to have to come into the truck with me and Papa. It's going to be a pain in the butt, but <sighs> until I can rehome them, that's just what I'm going to have to do. Anyhow, let's just keep this short today. Nothing else went on. It's still rainy, gloomy, sort of. Hopefully the sun will come out tomorrow. I don't know if it will or not. But uh, anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.